The guest I'm bringing to you today has over 30 years experience in treating patients successfully with mental health problems such as depression and anxiety. He is one of India's leading Ayurvedic doctors and an expert in the process of Panchakarma. He has two clinics in Kerala and a newly opened clinic in Beirut in Lebanon. So please give a warm welcome to Dr. Shambhu. Thank you, nice to be here. And, uh, the place in Lebanon is still in process. So I've personally been visiting this clinic now for 10 years to receive Dr. Shambhu's legendary Panchakarma. First of all, Dr. Shambhu, can you take us back? Where did it all start and how did you get involved in this line of work? Uh, first of all, it's a traditional thing. I'm born in a family, uh, parents, uh, both my parents are uh, medically trained doctors. So when we say medically trained means uh, they are also trained in Western medicine, also in Ayurvedic medicine, uh, and then of course their ancestors. And, uh, so they, so I'm born in that family. So from my childhood, helping my father making medicines and other things. And uh, officially, I got my Ayurvedic um, medical degrees, which is in India under the Medical Council. Ayurveda, Western Medicine, which is allopathy, homeopathy, all these things under the same uh, department and I have an equal uh, course of five and a half years as a starting, then you go specialize and so on. So I'm trained in the Ayurvedic Medicine and I got my medical uh, degrees and licenses in 88, 89 time. And from that time I'm practicing there. So the, the, what happened at that point was Usually trained in a traditional way, seeing uh, mostly Indian people and other things. Then eventually I move into an area where there are a lot of uh, people come for tourism and other things. So from that point, it was a slightly different way of doing the treatment without uh, changing any of the original principles due to structural, uh, ethnic uh, and other logistical things. From India, a slightly different way of doing it. Uh, so that's how I, I evolved in, in my own evolution, in my treatment and so on, which also changed my own personality part and so on. So. Thank you. So when I speak to my friends about Panchakarma, none of them has a clue what it is. So can you briefly explain what Panchakarma is and what it entails? Without uh, using any Sanskrit words or anything, to speak in a very simple language, the Panchakarma remove all your acquired physical toxins and emotional imprints you acquire from your childhood and until now. So when we do Panchakarma, first of course like you are in a washing machine, like uh, you go through the physical detox, <coughs> then all the emotional imprints start to come out. So that will produce an exit an emotional <coughs> exit from your past. So the past emotional marker will not dictate, control your future decision-making process because something happened 20 years ago, 30 years ago, cannot run your story into the future. Did that make a person stuck in the past actually? So during the process, when the emotional part comes out, in an Ayurvedic language we use this Sattvic, Rajasic, Tamasic, anyway, the point is, it makes you more and more emotional free, or the emotional influence or manipulation in your pure intelligence become less and less. And you can see future in a very different format than the past uh, influencing it. So that'll be a complete exit from the emotional past or emotions influencing your intelligence. So that'll be a complete exit. Yeah. So Panchakarma helps get rid of all the emotional behaviors or Negative based on habitual the, patterns that we formed in our past. Based on certain incidences today. or uh, things happened in your life. So here after Panchakarma, the memory will be there, they stay as an incident, but the emotional uh, attachment, influence are from coming from that incident, which is silently influencing your character, identity and so on, mm. it won't be there. So it turn out as an incident that you went through that situation. Okay, then that's it, but it will not So it reduces your... the emotional connection that we place exactly. on negative experiences. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. So, so you won't be based on certain experience, you won't be guarded all the time. But by being guarded or being alert, you may be missing some beautiful opportunities in the future mm -hmm. by labeling certain things based on some experiences. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. The focus of this season is on mental health. So how can Panchakarma help people who are suffering with depression and anxiety? When uh, we go through Panchakarma, of course it's coming with touch. And the touch, of course, is in the form of massages with oils, powders and everything. And as you know, the touch is the first thing coming from the security marker of a baby to the mother. So from that, touch then change into different size, shape and uh, different interpretations of touch. So here when we go with Panchakarma, definitely the touch is involved with the oil massages, different people, personalities touching you. So it's not a spa procedure to give you comfort. The spa procedure is to make you comfortable and to make you feel like a king or queen. Or the spa, hours. when you go to a spa. spa. So mm -hmm. to, it is okay, you need mm -hmm. to feel like king or queen. Mm -hmm. But here, when you go through touch and other things, it's like a deep shoveling up, like a drilling from inside. So the personality of the therapist uh, and we change the therapist every day. All these things, when they touch you, start to evoke, provoke, release a lot of It's like getting a bulldozer on your inside. It's like, it's like a, yeah, like a shoveling up, like a, like a shovel or a drill in, in a different way. Of course, it's comfortable, but of course, you, you, you are... Um, so, in a spa, they were trained to please you completely. You know? mm -hmm. It's a comfortable procedure. Here, it is still comfortable, but you suddenly feel go through those people in your life start to manifest in your therapist, and it's something similar like I don't know if you know about the uh, the family constellation therapy by Dr. Hellinger. So you kind of manifest the people in your life around you if you are in a new location. So when the therapist touch you, it will manifest, and we need that manifestation of provocation of bringing out. From a touch. Then there are sequences there, the dripping oil there to produce melatonin, serotonin, endorphins. And, and by touch and by some other procedures in Panchakarma, that based on the body type. And the body type is the three body types and the combinations of it. This we will do in consultation. And then we go through a particular protocol that is also involved with a certain enema with the oils because the enema doesn't mean that don't worry about it it's very comfortable it's not to go to constipation toilet or you don't have to run to the toilet or anything it's your gut brain axis because your your gut is your primary brain where all you keep all your emotions feelings there so that's where we need to release all these things as long as it's there those emotions something happened in your childhood or later still run your story even if you're in your 70s or 80s but that's a waste because something happened there shouldn't run your story for the next 50, 80 years. Shouldn't. So we have to remove it. So through touch, and the touch produce all those calming chemicals, neurotransmitters, melatonin, serotonin, endorphins, because uh, massage and other things is a passive exercise. Somebody is touching you. So all these things will come up there. And then there are sequences there. Then you go through certain vulnerabilities, sensitivities, based on what you keep in there. So that's strictly an individual process. And then we talk to the person and develop it. So everything you're talking about is based in science. You know, it's based in scientific evidence. So you're talking about touch producing kind of feel good hormones such as serotonin and oxytocin and all of this. So it's all scientific it is, based. It is completely scientific because. First touch, security from a mother to the baby is still the touch. So what but about what happens when a child hasn't had those secure attachments in their early you know, years? Always, as a human being, you're always looking for security zones, comfort zones, feel safe. And as you know, touch is also a biggest manipulator. So when somebody go through touch in their life, and there are different forms of touch involved, and based on different forms of touch, how that's influencing their personality, decision-making process, and other things. And then we go into different uh, interpretations of touch and so on. So that is, then based on that, if it's on a positive level, of course, it's a good touch. On a negative level, this can be manipulatory or negative, so. What do you mean by the touch? 
more, you know, I mean, she said that it can reflect on how we feel about our outer world. Dr. Shambhu has to go. <laughs> we'll, we'll continue the stalking and uh, we will continue from this. Yes, yeah. to be continued.